Hey there, it's Vel again. Uh, a few years have passed since the uh, last video. We did get uh, a new city founded, so we're slowly, and we found uh, some more Scythians. So we're slowly uh, feeling our way around here, but uh, Dido is dead. Dido has two sons. They don't really like each other. Uh, she bypassed her. We got an event that kind of made her elder son not a very good choice as ruler. This guy was way better. So he's the new ruler. But on Dido's death, uh, other son rebelled. We have two rebels. We're fighting. Barbarian raids. We're trying to stay under the radar of the Scythians. So, yeah, there's a lot going on here, and this was a good place to pick up the video. I've got a settler ready. I don't know if I can get him out or not. Uh, that's an open question. First, so a number of problems, as you as you can see, we're under pretty heavy threat at the capital. Uh, we got barbarians, our troops are all tore up here. So a lot going on, a lot going on. Let's let's start knocking these problems down and see if we can uh, pull our way clear of the trouble. Now I think that when I found this other city, this, this next city finally, um, it is probably going to be the statesmen who get it. And I'm thinking I want to found it here, and then I can backfill this with the traders, and I can put somebody here. Maybe artisans don't know. But Trader City, so it'll go here. That's what this settler is for. But before we can even do that, we have to solve a couple of problems. So one, let's clear the road, right? Let's get it where we can get this settler the hell out of here. Okay, settler is the hell out of here. Second thing, let's solve for this. Solving for this is going to mean killing this guy. We can do that in one shot, one order. Finally built my first actual military unit, uh, a warrior. So we have that. Um, now we have to attend to the two rebel units. To do that, I think I'm going to go here. We're just going to tag team something. I don't care what. Something needs to get attacked. I'm going to bring my warrior over so we can have a another fairly heavy hitter next turn. See if we can get that cleaned up. Uh, I have finished walling up everywhere, so with my with my garrisons and my defending family unit, that gives me minus two discontent, and then I'm getting a plus one for slavery, so I'm still coming out net minus one to discontent. So that's good. Uh, these guys got just entirely banged up fighting the you know, raiders that came from the north. Uh, we need to get a scout up that way to see what's going on. But so far, I have not had an opportunity to even think about niceties like building a scout. And in fact, we're still not going to think about it. I'm just going to add a second warrior to the mix because we do have to start... Well, I was researching this. We do have to start bulking up our uh, garrison defenses. And I, I mean, I do want to have a like a, a solid core of uh, my own troops backed up by mercenaries. So, yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. And the mercenary, the Scythian horsemen are getting super expensive to buy. So I'm not even, even though I have several hundred gold, I'm not really close to being able to buy another Scythian from the south are like 1700 bucks or something crazy. So, 
Uh, or doesn't show me till it's my turn, but they're expensive. We'll check it out, see the exact number in just a minute, but yeah, they're expensive. That's the bottom line. And we need the money for other stuff at the moment, although we didn't, we weren't able to do any fun influence emissions or anything that turn because we got to, you know, not die and stuff. But uh, we're getting there. Okay, so that actually uh, didn't actually do anything but that seemed to help uh yeah okay so greece is ridiculously more powerful than we are with their six cities we have five but theirs are so much better developed um well i'll tell you what let's let's go ahead and get this fired off let's just send it and now we will have some uh, shit. I need to kill this. I need to kill this like now. Yeah. Okay. I don't even care. We just need you to die. And then we need you to die. Okay. So there's that. This guy, come on down here, and we're going to park him here, somewhere, uh, probably here, uh, like that. Okay, I've got two orders left. Let's see if we can put... Well, if we put her in charge, uh, she is the oligarch of the family, and I should solve the problem because she'll like having the job. Okay. Uh, yeah, focus on your studies. And we're getting this event that slow walks us from freedom to uh, slavery. So, well, we could do the treasuries, and that would be good discipline for us. So let's let's do the six treasury thing. Uh, will not be a great hardship, and it'll put us in better shape monetarily. So yeah, we'll do that. We already got two treasuries because each of the statesmen cities come with their own built-in, so that's handy. Uh, so we got, we got one more rebel to deal with, and then we are back to basically good. Basically good. Uh, I'm not saying they're not going to be trouble ahead, but, uh, better. And we got another settler coming out in full, so that will let us backfill this, and then we will be caught up and ready to, uh, expand again. Yeah, we're not. We're saving our money. We need to. Okay. So, yeah. Go ahead with your plan. And then this guy comes here. And I'm going to... This is well, this is one of those times I can get the city planted a turn faster if I force march. And we are absolutely going to do that. Now, I wanted this to be the statesman. So, let's go ahead and just give it to them right now. And then, sure, so we met Babylon now, and Babylon is equally huge with their six cities. So, but we're actually, believe it or not, we're keeping up. We we just dropped our, our six city. So, yeah, that's a great goodness. How much are these guys? These guys are 1100 bucks. so we would need way more money than we have, and we just can't, we just can't do that. Um, Carthage finally does, uh, I've already queued up a, okay, I've already queued up a settler for this. This guy is building the settler for this. Kadir is going to build a worker and a militia and walls and see if that can get us off to a decent start. Carthage, that was my half an order, so we're going to actually, we're going to come over here and do the gems because we could put 
uh, yeah, we need we need more luxuries to our family situation is not great. Uh, what do we have here? Is that orders? Is that food? That's the orders. We're gonna do that first. And over here, we'll go for the money. And uh, here we go. Work on. Now we did start building the necropolis, which is going to give us uh, when we have a when we have a world religion, for example, and we can start building temples. Uh, those temples will give us. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. Those temples will give us another minus one to. Uh, unhappiness, so lower discontent by one is what I'm trying to say. So that is uh, big, a long-term investment, but big, and that pretty well cratered our our stone reserves. But we we have got quite a good quite a good collection of per turn stone, so it should recover fairly quickly. And uh, we'll run this video. I just wanted, this was the main purpose here was to just to show you how crazy things can get when you're under threat from a variety of different sources. We had two different raids going and, and rebels popping up because, you know, brother was pissed off. And so just all sorts of craziness happening. And that and that's good. That's cool that we got to, that we got to see some of that. So I liked it. Uh, well, I need this to even be able to build treasury, so yeah, let's do that. And then, we're just going to try to kill this guy, because he, uh, he's an in-your-face guy. So let's get up in his face, and uh, we're not going to kill him this turn. Well, especially not if we move there. Alright, so we we'll almost kill him. And then next turn we can... Okay. Yeah, that's going to be hateful. Uh, okay. Judge. Colonies, that's huge. And we make the slow walk to uh, thing. Alright, so let's go to freedom. Let's go over here and fix this. We heal our troops. We heal our troops. We heal more of our troops. Most everybody got dinged up that go. Okay. So we got just a couple orders left. Uh, not really interested in Getting crazy here. Let's just okay. So settler drop down just a couple of tiles, and we put a we put a merchant city there, and that should get them back to somewhat happy-ish. And then nobody else has adopted a religion, but Greek Greece has one, and Babylon has one. So we will probably just embrace one of the whoever spreads theirs to us first. These guys are both pretty powerful compared to us. Uh, but you see, just the hiring the we've only built, you know, like a couple of warriors. And you see that we are they're not much stronger, they're just stronger. So they are we are keeping up with them in terms of in terms of that at least so yeah let's come over here we will heal these guys up okay and settler in one we'll do that and then focus on the uh
Scythian camp, which I'm probably, I'm going to heal the army up here. We'll upgrade what we can. And I will uh, just, uh, I'll try to buy one of these units, maybe both. And that's our attack force. We don't even, I don't even think we'll bring the, uh, oh, nice. I don't even think we'll bring the guy down. Uh, yeah, let's do a, no, let's do drama. I want to. I want to get caught up on techs, and the best way to do that is just to take the cheapest ones I got. All right, we're going to do that specialist to give us uh, a another half an order. Fractional order. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Uh, okay, this guy will come down. Because he's reasonably close. Let's do a family marriage to shore up relations with the uh, Hanonids. See what that gets us. But I mean, look, it's it's turn 54 and we're cranking 200 bucks turn. That's, uh, that's pretty solid, you know. That's certainly nothing to sneeze at. Our wood production is still horrendously low, but we've been a little busy with, uh, you know, raiders and other such business, so we haven't really been able to, uh, okay, I am gonna have to take the free buyering because I, I, yeah, we don't. Okay, so I can actually found that this turn. Let's do that as the traders. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So that really gives us a nice contiguous waterway for, well, at least some of our territory. Now... Let's see if we can, uh, yeah, no, come here. We need this guy upgraded. Yeah, see, this is as far as he can go, so, but King Pygmalion could actually lead these troops. Now, I'm not going to have him do that, but he could. Um, uh, tell you what else we're going to do, though. We're going to put, uh. Yeah, we're going to put him in as the governor here. And I'm going to see if I can find uh, the rest of this money. Oh, yeah. All right. So next turn, I am feeling pretty good about attacking this camp. I mean, he'll get the spawn. But we'll be fighting three on five on three, so that that's good. Uh, okay, we'll make contact. Good. Oh my word! What a turn. Okay. Uh. Well, actually, let's get this guy healed up. He stops taking longer to repair shit or to to do, you know, fun shit. So let's go here and get the lumber going. And then, man, as tempted as I am to leave that, we're going to have to just do quarries up in here, so... 
Yeah. So this will just be worker militia walls treasury like that. Now this guy is going to be uh, we got the worker militia walls and he already came with the treasury. So what we got? We got uh, pearls and we got dyes. And then this guy, yeah, so we just got his food working. Now, I would love to have the decree and do like a, de a decree pump. That would be awesome. But honestly, I'm not, I'm not ready for that yet, I don't think. I'm just going to build another warrior. We... <sighs> I'm having trouble spending the orders I've got, and the Cree is tying up a city build queue for a periodic infusion of additional orders. Now, that could be a good thing, depending on how you structure your, your game, but at the moment, I'm generating orders from other stuff. I'm, I'm building pastures, and I'm fixing to build garrisons, and so I, I don't know that I need that much of an infusion of orders i think it'd be a little hard to manage and we might wind up wasting some which means that we're wasting the production of that city now if i get to war or start getting swamped with barbarians the periodic decree to give me some additional orders to get over the hump that would be that would be a good use but just as a general purpose uh, that's a little harder to use than, say, an inquiry, which is just automatic. You set up inquiry, and when it's done, it just dumps the points into your research pool, and that's it. That's what you got. So, yeah, this is not quite that. Okay, well, this guy's coming. And I don't think... I mean, we could crater the economy and buy another one of these. I just, I don't know that it's, I don't know that it's worth doing that. So, let's just get up here. Yeah. Oh, because he's a, because he's a thing. He's a, yeah. All right, well, I can't get anywhere useful then anyway. I'm going to heal him so he can upgrade. And he's just going to come on ahead. And then, uh, yeah, these guys are just going to... No, he's going to come down to a quarry. He's going to come over and do a quarry. Uh, he did the, uh, what's the, the gem mine. So, after we're done with the uh, treasury, we'll do walls treasury. Then, we will do a gem specialist, a miner specialist. And in the meanwhile, we got more of these delicious ore specials to work. Uh, this guy was going to just shop, clear cut. And now we're ready to go when we want to do that quarry there. So we will run this through taking this camp, uh, establishing another city and getting our scout healed up so he could explore. Uh, we've basically, you know, we, we hit that period, that grindy period where you just have to hunker down and, and weather some consecutive, successive attacks. And so we did that. Of course, it's a little bit easier slash different with Babylon because you, you can 
you know, just hire as many guys as you need. With the caveat being that they can't already be raiding against you. You can't hire once they get set to raider. You can't. You can no longer hire them. So you do have to keep an eye on on that. But that is literally the only uh, thing you have to be mindful of or or worried about. Now can I? I don't know. I can get in and do this. Okay. Well, this guy, yeah. So let's just get him hell and gone. I got to get him healed up. We're going to finish killing this. And then we're going to... Yeah, okay. I can't. So we're just going to... And this guy is just going to build another quarry. And then we will. Yeah. Okay. And we'll come down here. Oh, this is a uh, wrong dude. Yeah, okay. So he'll just. Do that. Okay. Byreme gets us in the water. I don't have anywhere in particular I have in my mind to go. We know some places we're not going yet, so we're not going to the continent, for example. But having that Byreme does give us some options that we didn't have before. At the very least, I will send up north, and uh, he and the scout can tag team exploring uh, north of us and see who wants to this island, because we still don't even know. It's it's 57 years since the game started, and we actually still haven't even fully explored this starting island, and that's bad, because shit like this keeps happening. So... I'm actually going to take the free settler too to help speed things along. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. He comes back here to heal. Hey, and then this is uh, yeah, okay. So we can do this. All right, so we've collapsed that. We've collapsed the line around him. We're going to... Now, I don't want to move that far because I want to reserve one order so I can heal, which means... Okay, which means coming here. Here. All right. We'll make friends with Babylon. Okay. Well if early indications amount to anything, and they often do. Team Zorro could be uh, kind of a defining moment for us. We may have to put some cycles on that. We'll see. Uh, okay, that guy's arranged too. Yeah, I didn't have any points to do anything about this, and that means they're going to get first strike, and that's going to suck. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, I 
I do want to do that. Well, that took about every attack we had. But we did get to camp. Now, let's see. If we can do something. I want to cover that so we don't. Sure. Let's adopt Zoroastrianism. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, the Byreme's in a pretty good spot for exploration if we can, if we can, uh, get some orders to do that. We'll get our free settler. Carthage is working on a settler, and we know that we've got at least one more camp, probably two, up here somewhere, because the the Desperado Grand Raiders could have come from an island elsewhere, but it's just as likely that they can't. No, actually, the way they approached, probably they did come from elsewhere. So we have these camps. We have we have at least one more camp up here that we know about. Okay. We're not going to do anything with, uh, with the, uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. I guess it don't matter. No, we don't. That's stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Don't do that. Kill this guy. Okay. Heal or repair damage. That solves one problem. This guy comes up here. This guy comes over here. And we need to get that settler all the way around. And that is as far as we can move. So, next year, hopefully, we will be able to get oh man okay alright so let's see we got good relations with everybody we met uh, families are doing okay -ish. they're not the best they're a little bit rickety the relationship is but for some of them but we can we can work with that. everything's positive is the important point we're gonna take that half an order and then we're gonna what are we gonna do? that's a zero so we want to stop here so we can heal again Okay, camp has been taken, settler is en route, specialist, uh, scout is on the way north. Yeah, so we're good. We're in good shape. And then we'll have another settler in six, so I need to get the scout up there pronto so we can see where this other camp is and do we have enough goodies to, to, to take it. And we do have this problem that we are currently dealing with so still a lot to do we still have not been able to you know make good use of all of our diplo tools because we're so busy with the stuff on the map that we just haven't had uh any, any order to spare 
which uh, that could be a problem. But well, uh, and I wonder if there's a way to. It would take a certain amount of finesse and timing, but like you could, you could set up that uh, decree pump in such a way that the decrees hit, and on those turns you just do more diplo stuff, and that could be that could be a thing. All right, we actually gonna take the money here because uh, we could use that to good effect if we find some more uh, guys up north. So we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna send this on around. Uh, and I think if we just go in great guns on this guy. We should be able to kill him, maybe. Oh, like that, we won't. Okay, that does it. Now we got him. All right. This guy will come up to the top. And I just have a feeling that uh, we will be needing some troops up there. So I'm going to start that off. We're going to... No. I'm going to convert to Zorro. And I'm going to influence her in case he doesn't switch. And then move the ship one tile or one set of moves. All right. So Settler coming up the west coast. Uh, Byream heading up the east. We should bust fog here pretty quickly. Find out what this is all about. A couple more turns. We'll have the Settler dropped. And we'll be in reasonably good shape. Get these guys patched back up. And this becomes our zone defense over here. Not that we've needed it so far, but probably going to need it against somebody's aggression. Our borders are practically touching now. And if I already have navigation, you know they do. So, yeah, we are not safe. I mean, they can get to us anytime they want trivial so and someone even though uh, even though we all supposed to be friends someone damaged my city okay so he actually no actually yeah uh, and then he comes right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Well, we're going to do spoked wheels so we have another cabinet appointment we can make. And uh, we got to repair the damage here. Uh... You know, I'm not stopping a good thing. We're going to keep doing this. Okay. Well, we actually, yeah. Let's uh, let's go over here and do the quarry. We know we want. Mines adjacent to 
this. So we're going to do at least three. Well, that's all we can do is three. We're going to do at least two. I might save this as an urban. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah, man. Let's see what that gets us. Oh, we didn't get a chance to explore, but we had a lot of workers to assign that year. And uh, keeping the economy growing. It's more important to me than busting some fog tiles. And we had troops to uh, patch up and put back together. So we got a lot of important stuff done. We just didn't get everything we wanted to get done done. Then we're nearing the place where I was going to stop this video anyway. The city founded. Things seem to have stabilized, although the Mogonids have just dropped five negative, but we already have an answer for that. So uh, that should be an easy problem to fix. We'll wrap up this turn. And then, yeah, so see, they're coming from another island. They're not, they're not coming from our island. So that's good. We know, we know that definitively now. So thing one, let's get this city planted. And we got two, two, and three. So I'm going to actually give this to the, uh, the Magonids because they can make good use of these llama mills that we put here. So we'll do that. And that gives us most of a waterway. We, we would have we have to buy some individual tiles here to get that the way we want it. But I mean that's pretty close. We do this and this. And this. this guy come back over here okay and then we uh, we have four orders left so let's see Yeah. Okay. He has two orders left. So if we go here, then we can end our turn here. So we are dealing with another barbarian raid. I believe we have enough juice with the slinger to take it handle it although holy shit yeah you gotta put lay the smack down on me but okay so we're we're gonna accept on faith that we can deal with that oh i did not no nope, actually let's back up we're just gonna end right there because i forgot we need to that wasn't what i was gonna do with that but but i mean that's okay Yes, we'll do that. The judge. I got a worker. Wall. Treasury. Like that. And then here we've done the walls and the treasury. So we got everything. We got literally everything done. I am just going to build another warrior. Because that, we only had two. And this will give us a third. And, uh, yeah, that could come in handy. I don't have, uh, Solde is my kind of de facto troop center right now. We haven't done anything special to make it 
a very good one, but I mean, that's what it's in practice. That's what it's doing. So uh, end of year 63, we have what, six cities. That's crazy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cities. That's even crazier. Uh, yeah, they're all fitting on this little fun crook of a bay. So they're all kind of nestled around here, which is cool. We've met three of our uh, six neighbors. There are six opponents on this game. So we've met half of the world, or they've met us, rather. And we still, to this day, we still don't know what exactly is on the rest of this island. But I'm going to stop here, and I'll have another video that shows some other mechan cool mechanical stuff a little bit later on.